What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly from last night's edition of Friday Night Smackdown. Plus, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Rest in Peace former WWE star, Naomi returning to WWE, Carlito re-signs with WWE, Finn Balor talks retirement, plus much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. As always, we won't recap the show, we'll just provide the good, the bad, and the ugly. The Good Undisputed Tag Title Match Last night, SmackDown kicked off with an undisputed tag title match as Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn took on Pretty Deadly. This was a huge match for Pretty Deadly, as it was, in theory, their first major test on the main roster. It's safe to say they delivered, and the duo are going to be stars in the tag division for years to come. Owens and Zayn were excellent as always, and it's fantastic to see the tag titles being treated as a big deal in WWE. LA Knight Shines LA Knight received the largest ovation of the entire evening on SmackDown last night, LA has managed to get over organically, and last night's SmackDown was a great showcase of why he is over. LA had an entertaining showing in a promo segment with Logan Paul, and he was heavily protected in the triple threat match with Butch and Santos Escobar. LA is still the firm betting favorite heading into the highly anticipated Money in the Bank match tonight. Is Solo the one? SmackDown closed out with a Bloodline promo segment, and whilst this was nothing too memorable, WWE implemented teases that Solo Sokoa could be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns. The Usos would state that Sokoa is going to be their new tribal chief, and the crowd reacted insanely positively to this tease. Are WWE now planting the seeds for Solo to be the next top guy in the company? Time will tell. The Bad Asuka vs Charlotte Flair Asuka and Charlotte Flair have had some excellent matches in the past, but last night's match failed to hit the mark. Due to the non-finish which saw Bianca Belair get involved, the two seem to be going through the motions for the entirety of the matchup. The two can deliver much better than this, and the eventual triple threat between Asuka, Flair, and Belair will hopefully make up for this disappointing encounter. Austin's Theory's Presentation since WrestleMania 39 and his monumental win over John Cena, Austin Theory has struggled to find a meaningful place on the card. Last night, Theory defeated Ridge Holland with a dropkick, and it's crazy to think that Theory defeated Cena back in April, as he just didn't scream future main eventer in this SmackDown match. WWE looks to be moving towards a Theory vs. Sheamus feud, but why a substantial post-Mania feud for Theory has taken this long to put together is anyone's guess. The Ugly Nothing on the show was ugly, yet the show was somewhat disappointing. For a show taking place in the UK, fans expected a bit more. Nevertheless, there is a ton of hype for Money in the Bank, and hopefully the show delivers. Former WWE star passes away. Our top story today shares some unfortunate news as former WWE star Draws has passed away. Draws was a star of the beloved Attitude Era, and although a life-changing incident in the ring ended his career, Draws never let this break his spirit. WWE announced his passing in an official statement which read, WWE is saddened to learn that Darren Drozdov passed away on Friday, June 30th at age 54. An imposing force in the ring, Darren Drozdov became a notable figure in WWE, known to fans as both Puke and Draws during his time as an in-ring competitor. Drozdov was a gifted athlete before coming to WWE, playing football at the University of Maryland before stints in the NFL with the New York Jets, Philadelphia Eagles, and Denver Broncos. Drozdov captivated audiences in the late 1990s with his time spent in the Legion of Doom teaming with Animal and his Draz's World vignettes. WWE extends its condolences to Darren Drozdov's family, friends, and fans. The wrestling world is now coming together to celebrate the life of Draz, and several notable wrestlers have taken to Twitter to pay their respects. One tribute came in from The Rock, who tweeted, Man, I'm so sorry to hear one of our ring brothers has passed away. Darren Drozdov, aka Draz. We wrestled on a lot of cards together. Such an awesome dude. Great personality and great wrestling talent. We always talked about football and fishing. Sending love, strength, mana, and light to his family. R.I.P. brother. We here at WrestleMania offer our condolences to the family, friends, and fans of Draws. Naomi willing to return to WWE? Naomi, aka Trinity, is currently shining in Impact Wrestling, but that doesn't mean she won't eventually return to WWE. 
During an interview with Ariel Helwani, Naomi's husband Jimmy Uso discussed the possibility of Naomi returning to WWE, and it's looking positive. Of course, WWE fans will see her again. Even she would like to come back. At the end of the day, we started our career here at WWE, and in a perfect world, we'd like to finish here in WWE. She's definitely open to coming back, and when the timing is right and everything fits, hopefully it works. Naomi walked out of WWE alongside Sasha Banks in May of last year, but judging by the comments from Jimmy Uso, it looks like the relationship between Naomi and WWE isn't as bad as fans initially thought. WWE announced Edge's return. WWE have announced that Hall of Famer Edge will return to SmackDown next week. SmackDown is set to take place at the historic Madison Square Garden, and Edge is set to appear on the Grayson Waller effect. Due to Edge returning during week one of the SummerSlam build, logically this means that Edge will be working SummerSlam. There are several names being thrown around by fans on social media when it comes to a possible opponent. Names such as Grayson Waller, Bray Wyatt, and even Bobby Lashley have all been suggested. Who would you like to see Edge face at SummerSlam next month? Let us know in the comments below. SummerSlam matches revealed? Speaking of SummerSlam, it looks like WWE are putting together an exciting card for one of the biggest shows of the calendar year. Based off SmackDown last night, it looks like Asuka will face Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair, Austin Theory looks set for a match with Sheamus, and it looks like Roman Reigns will be taking on either Jay or Jimmy Uso. Additionally, it's been rumored that Logan Paul will be working the show, and names rumored to face him include Ricochet or potentially a member of the Brawling Brutes. Carlito's WWE Return Confirmed After weeks of rumors, it has been confirmed that former Intercontinental Champion Carlito has signed a new WWE deal. Dave Meltzer confirmed the news in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, and then PW Insider Elite claimed that Carlito will be joining the SmackDown brand, and it's possible that he returns on next week's edition of the show. Carlito brings a ton of experience to WWE, so it'll be great to see how he mixes it up with the current roster. Carlito made a one-off appearance at Backlash in Puerto Rico, and it was clear judging by that particular reaction that the fans want to see him have another run in WWE. Are you excited to see Carlito back in WWE? Let us know in the comments below. Finn Balor Talks Retirement our final story today looks at a recent interview with Finn Balor, who discussed his retirement plans. Balor is one of the top stars in WWE and is set to take on Seth Rollins for the world title at Money in the Bank later today. During an interview on After the Bell, Balor revealed that he wants a retirement similar to that of Edge's initial retirement in the sense that he wants to bow out gracefully. It goes back a lot further than what you've seen on screen. I've been a huge admirer of Edge not only as a performer, but as a person his whole career. We became close many, many years ago. When he retired, I was personally disappointed for the fact that I thought I'd missed out on the opportunity to possibly someday share the ring with him. I always admired how he transitioned out of pro wrestling so gracefully. I thought if someday I'm going to retire from this business, I want to do it the same way Edge has done it. Even though Balor has been wrestling for 22 years, he's still at the top of his game, and he is one of the finest in-ring talents in all of WWE. Hopefully, retirement is a long way off for Balor, but it is nevertheless interesting that Balor has thought about how he wants to handle his eventual retirement. There you have it, folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Don't forget to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time, back for some more wrestling content.